Hello pretties, welcome to Rose Room. So today I have my, I guess, quarter one roundup, like all the palettes that I've used and how many times I've been using them. I've been doing an okay job at keeping up with my tracking of my palettes. Any of these numbers, like, if I put them on, at least use them, like, one, you know, I at least use them. But I, my numbers may be off, except for a couple of them where, like, I'm confident I only use them that certain amount of time. Some of these numbers might be slightly off by, like, one or two. But I'm not too worried about that. I, for the most part, have been doing a pretty good job of using my Shop My Stash palettes. I've only really deviated from that for two reasons. One of them is my BYOP, or my Good Drum palette, um, which I actually have that number. Might as well show you. And I've used my BYOP 7 seven times now keep in mind my byop palette or my build your own palette like my palette that i use from singles i do change that one out every month so currently this is what this looks like i've used this one two times um so there's that and i used my other two that i've had prior to this one five times so i have a total of seven uses for this quarter for my byop this one's a little bit more inconsistent because I get it consists mostly of my magnetic single shadows and all of this usage does not include my actual single shadows, which I do use a couple of times a month. Um, and by what I mean by that is I have a little, I have a little thing here and I have like my super shock shadows. I have my Mundo shadows. I have this one from elf, uh, a little potty one. I have my stick shadows. Um, from Rare, Colourpop, and also from About Face. So I do use these, I want to say about two to four times a month, to be honest. Some months are better than others, but those, they, those do get used regularly, so that does not include that usage in these numbers. So just putting that out there. Um, so anyway, this quarter, my bio, BYOP has been used seven times. I'm pretty happy with that number. I think it's pretty strong. <laughs> um, the only other palette that has been gotten used for me that is not out of my shop my stash is going to be a huge shocker because everything else is like part of my shop my stash, um, but it's my Scott Barnes. Uh, and it's this shadow in Shimmer and Sand, which is honestly just a super basic palette. <laughs> it's a mini basic palette, but I use it very much just because sometimes if I'm just looking for a transition shade or something to put on my lower lash line, I end up reaching for this shade right here, or if I want a little extra sparkle, I'd reach for this one here, but I never use this one on its own, I, if I'm going to reach for this palette on its own, it's going to be this shade right here, and then I'll just kind of grab something, or maybe this one, but I almost always come for this shade, and then grab other things as I need them, if that makes sense, there you go, that makes more sense, so I used this one, I believe it was three times, I have a new app that I'm being using, um, where is Shimmer and Sound? Okay, maybe this is not a smart way to go about this video. Give me a sec. Okay, I'm back. I did use this one three times. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> now, I also want to clearly talk, uh, just briefly talk about all of my palettes I've been in my project pan. Oh, sorry, my shop, my stash. There's only one palette currently. I do still have a couple more weeks to use it, but that I have not used. Every other palette has gotten at least one, one day's worth of use for me. And that is my uh, Star Wars Mandalorian, the, the child palette from Star Wars. Uh, I enjoyed this palette. I'm not 100% sure why I haven't used it. I'm wondering if it's maybe because I have it on a separate area. It's too small to put it where I put all my other palettes. So I kind of put it a little bit off the side. I wonder if that's what it is. So maybe I need to put it in a different location to try to help me reach for it. But this is the only one that I have not used. Um, so there is that. I did decide that I needed to focus on this a little bit different. So I have looks at the app. So I'm just gonna go in order from what I'm seeing. I think that'll be easier for me to keep up with it. Um, okay, so So Jaded got added into my um, shop my stash kind of late in the game and I used it two times. I'm actually surprised I only used it two times and not more. I have been tempted to use it way more than that, but I haven't actually gone for it. And I need to, I guess, figure that out. But anyway, So Jaded got just two times. Pretty happy about that. Uh, I, I really just like that palette. It makes me happy. Uh, nudie Patootie, oh sorry, Nudie number two was you in my last shop mustache. And now this palette, this palette I used seven times, which I think again, pretty strong, especially considering it was there for a very short time. Well, I mean, it was a short time. It was like six weeks. 
but I think that's pretty good. Um, that means I was averaging about one, one, one use per week kind of situation, give or take. I really love this palette, so no complaints there. Obviously, enjoyed it. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Um, Shimmer and Sun, just talked about it. Red Dragon. So Red Dragon got used two times. And I will say, though, every time I use it, I'm, like, reminded by how much I like this palette. Um, so, yeah. I, I will say all my palettes look very new. Uh, they look only mildly used. So I do want to make an effort to try to use more of my palettes. That That's why I'm doing this. Like, I want to do my shot massage. I want to rotate through all, through all my palettes a lot better than I've been doing. But I used Red Dragon twice. Candy Skies, I only used once. However, I do have this video idea that I want to film. Uh, I was supposed to film it last weekend, but no video went up last weekend. So that's on me. Um, but that being said, Candy Skies got used once. <laughs> I, I know for sure I am going to eventually film that video, so it will get at least two more uses, uh, one more use for me. But I'm going to try to make an effort to try to use it a couple more times whenever I can. Because it's a beautiful palette. I just, these are just not my kinds of shades. And I feel like they have like a specific moment. And I just haven't been using it. So there's that. All right. Let's see what else we got. Um, Red Dragon Candy Skies. And the last one from this little counter. I have to switch it. Is my Hella palette. And the Hella palette also got used two times. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. What a mess. This is what the hell pad looks like. I was this close to buying the Moonshroom, the, the Moonshroom palette from Lunar Beauty. I, and while I was at it, I was going to buy the Lunar Beauty, um, the eternal, the, 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 the nude prism. I think that's what it's called. I was very tempted to buy that one as well while I was at it. But I was reminded that I have a long, a bunch of nude palettes that I actually like really enjoy, neutral palettes that I really enjoy. In fact, I decided that my next shop, my stash is going to be all neutral palettes because that's what I've been really into lately. Um, so that being said, this got used twice and I did not buy the Munchroom palette and I'm very proud of myself for that. Um, but I was very tempted. But this got two uses out of me. So, yeah. And I have my quad from Charlotte Tilbury. This got this is the Pillow Talk Dreams. This got used four times. Um, it's really pretty. Every time I look at it, it's I'm like I always have a good like it's just so pretty to look at. But I don't have I don't have the affinity to reach for it. Surprisingly, I don't know. Um, thank God I got it with a gift card because I don't think it would have been a good purchase otherwise because this is too fucking expensive. It's like $55. So essentially I only paid $5 for it because I have a $50 gift card, but I don't know. Anyway, it's really pretty. I used it four times. I'm not mad about any of those times. I, I just, I think I don't, I don't think I found like the right way to use it for me yet. So I probably should play with it some more, but not now or use this for now. And I, I'm happy with that. One that I honestly had to put away was the Makeup of Mario Ethereal Eyes palette. Um, I used it 12 times, 12 times. I, I used the heck out of it. And I'm not talking like with like my Shimmer and Sands palette. Like for those palettes, I honestly just like grabbed one thing and like and like either put it in the outer corner or just like on the lower lash line and I was like out the door. And there's another palette that got even more used than this one. Um, but with that one, I was doing that a lot where I was just putting like under my lash line or, or something and I wasn't necessarily doing like completed looks with it. This one got 12 completed looks for me every single time. So I used the heck out of this palette, that all being said. And I'm not mad about it. Um, there's even a slight dip in this shade right here because I think this was a perfect transition shade. I thought it might be too light for my skin tone, but it actually builds really well. And it actually looks a little more neutral than it does in the pan. So I had a really good time with this palette. So much so that I'm actually very excited for my next shot mustache because I already know it's going to be an all neutrals and I already know this one's going to be in it. So cannot wait to play with it again. <laughs> cannot wait. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, Major Dimensions 2. This was part of my last shot my stash. That's new. I've never had an issue opening this palette, but I did just now. Interesting. 
This one looks like gorgeous, of course, and I used this one five times and I enjoyed using it so much. I really, really, really love this palette. I really like using these creams. Um, so yeah, I just, I really enjoy it. It was really nice. Um, all right. My Sigma X Angela Bright Palette. Now this one, this one got five uses for me. Oh gosh, there you go. This one got five uses. I can't. I can't. I just can't. Today is not that day. There you go. This one got five uses for me. I, I know I'm probably the only stranger that keeps these and know most people throw them away. I used to throw them away. Um, but I, I found that I actually like to keep them. Uh, but anyway, I've used it five times. I enjoyed it. I really played with more of the color story. And sometimes I found myself just reaching for it for one shade sometimes. And that's okay. I really enjoyed it. I did this one look with just these three shades. This in my crease, champagne problems all over my lid, and then a uh, schmuggler just on the outer corner like a liner, and it just looks so gorgeous. I really enjoy this palette. So, yay. Uh, let's see, we're down to the last three palettes. <sighs> all right, so Full Fantasy got used two times for me. Um, and honestly, I was pretty shocked. I think I've realized why I'm having such a hard time with this palette. And I think it's because some of this um, transition shades don't make sense. Um, and what I mean by that is that I wish this was a little deeper and a little bit more rosy. Um, because I think that's what it's missing. It, it's rosy, but it's pretty light. And it, although you can build it up, there's only so much you can build up. I like this neutral shade right here. I like that you have a more warm um, shade. And then this one has like a bit of an olive undertone. It's quite nice. This one's an actual olive, uh, like a yellow. Um, and I really enjoy this. I just, I wish it had a more pinky shade. I think that would like complete this a little bit more. And it was more pigmented than this. Because you have this like plumps. Yeah, and pink colors. And I feel like that's what it's missing. So I found myself pulling from this other palette to create for my transition shade and then going with this in the outer corner and then both of these plum shades in the lid um i think that's what this palette's missing also i don't love that these two shades are kind of similar to each other but you know whatever um i actually have enjoyed the heck out of it i i, I did enjoy those those looks and those are minor complaints but yeah <laughs> and okay we are down to the last two. Uh, my Zendo palette got a lot of use for me. Uh, this one was in the same rotation as the Ethereal uh, Ice palette from Mario. And this one got eight uses out of me. And I was just, had such an easy time with this color story. And I found myself reaching for like random colors that I don't normally reach for. Like Sense right here, um, Relief here. I did actually did an all green look, uh, which I liked. I, I went for Yama and this shade a lot. This is like my go-to colors here. And I really, I did one look where I did this this shade like by, by itself, like a one and done. And I really enjoy that. Um, I'm never gonna touch this bigger shade. It still looks brand new. It's not even been swatched. It's just not my color. Anyway, there's that. Okay, and this is the last one. So Rodin is the palette, uh, the M Cosmetics Rodin palette. It just got into this rotation, and um, it's gotten 15 uses out of me. It's gotten a lot of use out of me. <laughs> um, I have found myself really enjoying putting either this pink shade as a one and done shadow or this matte shade as a one and done shadow. Really, really enjoy that. I have found myself doing like full looks with all of them. I definitely have done that. I have found myself trying to do looks with like this in my transition shade and then really just like a brown smoky eye all over my lid. And I really enjoy that. I've liked really playing with this um, shade right here. I enjoyed playing with this shade right here. Honestly, this palette, I'm just really loving it. I got 15 uses out of it. Sometimes it wasn't completed looks. Sometimes it was I did like my single shadows. Because when I use those like cream shadows that I showed you before, I end up grabbing something else from my like lower lash line. A lot of times it's shimmer and sand. And sometimes it was this. I just grabbed one of these two shades, depending if it was something more, something more pinky or something more neutral. And just like ran it under my lash line and I counted that as a use. Um, so this palette got a lot of use for me. Now what we need to do is talk about like my overall numbers. So let's do that. So if I'm not included my BYOP, um, I've used a total of thir uh, 13 palettes. 
and I own 31 palettes. So a little bit more than a third, less than half of my palettes got used. And that's just from two shop my stashes, three months. I think I am on par to be able to use not just all of my palettes by just rotating through them on my shop my stash because again I've been doing a pretty good job but being able to get relatively high numbers on all of them um so I think my goal for the end of the year is to say that I've used every single one of my palettes at least 10 times I want my palettes to look new uh not sorry to use look used <laughs> not new all of my palettes look relatively new or very like minimal use i can think of exactly two palettes that don't look like that but the rest of my collection is pretty pretty much like that <laughs> um so i want them just to you look used and loved that's that's it that's all i want <laughs> i want my shadow my palettes to look more loved and that's why i did the whole i'm only buying five palettes this year because i want to be able to really use what i have I have been decluttering quite a bit and you'll notice that in my next um, what's it called um, empties and declutters you'll see I actually decluttered at least three palettes in this last like two weeks so yeah I'm using what I have and I'm enjoying what I've got there's not a dud in my, my collection at this time not anything that I would like to get rid of so I really want to get just get used of what I do have so anyway, please do not forget to like and subscribe. I'm curious to know what your pan, like not pan, but like palette usage is so far. Do you guys keep track of it like this? What works for you? Because I'm not sure if this is my best route, but we're trying it for now. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.